Hi friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is percentage. As we know, percentage is one of the important topic for all kind of competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, railways, UPSC, CSAT, and placement trainings. In all the exams, questions from percentage will be present. And percentage becomes one of the important topic because there are many topics in quantitative aptitude which needs percentage to solve them. The examples are data interpretation. Profit and loss ratio proportion. There are many topics, including that. So let's understand the question here and try to solve. I'll be telling you trick to solve this question, but before that, we will see how students do by a normal method in exam. A student multiplied a number by three by five instead of five by three. What is the percentage error in the calculation? This question seems to be very easy, but when you consider x and solve, it becomes complicated. Let's see how what will be our approach in normal method, and then I will tell you what will be our approach in trick. So in normal method, a student multiplied a number by three by five instead of five by three. So let's the number is x, and actually the student has to multiply by five by three. So five x by three was the original number, right? When we are multiplying by five by three to the x, but a student what he did, he multiplied by three by five instead of five by three. This is a changed value. So they are asking what is the error. So if you have to find out the error, then this is my original value, and then this is my changed value. So first you have to find out the difference. So whatever difference comes. And divided by 5x by 3, and then you have to multiply by 100, and then we will be able to get the answer. Now we will see the trick how easy it will be. See, basically, a student has to multiply by 5 by 3, but by mistake he multiplied by 3 by 5, right? Okay. Now 5 and 3 is there in the denominator. So either you take LCM or you select a number which is divisible by both. So fifteen, fifteen is the least number which is divisible by three and five. Even I can take thirty, I can take sixty, I can take ninety. In all the cases, I will be getting the answer. So what I have done, I have taken the smallest number so that our calculation will be easy. So the number is what fifteen. After taking LCM, right, or taking the smallest number which is divisible by both three and five. So the one student has to multiply it by Five by three, but by mistake the student has multiplied by three by five. So actually the number was twenty-five, but because of that mistake the student is getting nine, right? So how much less the student is getting? So sixteen marks you can say a student is getting less from what? From twenty-five. If you have to calculate percentage and multiply by hundred. So this will be four times sixteen into four is sixty-four percent. So the error was what sixty-four percent. So see what I have done here is, if I have taken the LCM or if I have assumed a number which is divisible by both, then my calculation becomes very easy. I don't have to subtract in terms of x. See when you are subtracting in terms of x also, then also you have to you have to take the LCM right. So you will take the LCM and then uh, then again twenty-five x minus sixteen x and Like that, you have to solve. And if you are assuming a value or taking LCM, then our calculation becomes very easy. We can solve the questions within ten seconds. Let's see question number two. Question number two is a very important question, and it will be usually asked in exams, in SSC, UPSC. These are the very favorite question. These kind of questions will be more. So, in an examination, thirty-four percent of the student failed in mathematics. Forty-two percent failed in English. See, thirty-four percent is failed in maths. Forty-two percent is failed in English, and twenty percent is failed failed in both math and English. Then find the percentage of a student who passed in both the subjects. So I will solve it using Venn diagram. So this is my maths and this is my English. Now here there is one concept that you have to understand. So if I am saying Thirty-four percent students failed in maths, and if I say only thirty-four percent students only failed in maths, and this is my diagram. 
so if they are telling 34 percent students failed in maths so this 34 percent is the total number of maths what i wanted to say here is i mean this region and this region both will be included in 34 percent this 34 percent is the student who has failed only in maths and then maths and english both so this 34 percent will be what in maths plus maths and english right if they say 34 percent students failed only in maths so this is the reason which is only reason that means 34 percent will be this not this so this is a big difference which we have to understand when drawing the diagram so let's see here see 34 percent of the students failed in maths means this total circle this total circle will be 34 percent i mean this area and this area means this 34 percent students will be failed in maths and maths plus english both right okay and 42 percent students failed in english so 42 percent will be what outside see this reason is only reason so 42 percent will be not only reason 42 percent is what the total value right okay so 34 percent failed in maths 42 percent failed in english if 20 percent of the student failed in both the subject means 20 percent of the students failed in both the subjects this is by 20 percent region and this is what intersection intersection means this is the common reason this is the common reason so that 20 percent of students failed in both the subjects then what they are asking then find the percentage of a students who passed in both the subjects now see the total is 34 percent so 20 percent is failed in both maths and english so how many will be failed only in maths so 20 plus 14 will be what 34 percent right okay now you see in english total 42 percent a student is failed in english 20 percent is both failed in english and maths so this will be what 22 percent only failed in english now you see total failed total failed will be 14 percent plus 20 percent plus 22 percent 246 22415 56 percent will be the total failed student so if i'll talk about the total number of past student then 100 minus 56 which will be nothing but equal to 44 percent so option four will be the correct answer for this question but here one concept was involved and that concept is very important when you are solving questions using a venn diagram so i hope you understood the question and the solution and the trick associated with that thanks a lot for watching the video